Okay, this is a demonstration for the Y New Bird section of how to create distribution maps in QGIS using the Tombow tools. Let me open this sample spreadsheet that I've been sent for Great Tip. There are a couple of things we have to do in here in order to get it into a condition whereby we can use it in QGIS. The first is to add a header row. So I'm going to insert a new row and put some column headers in. I'm only going to bother putting the ones in for the for the columns that we need to use. So I'm going to call this one, I could call it species tax on or whatever. That's our uh, one species that we have in this column. I need another one for grid reference. Now in these sheets there are three columns pertaining to grid reference. We need to create, uh, create a single column that has uh, the um, suitable grid reference for that record. So I'm going to insert a new column here and call it grid reference. In a moment we'll use a formula to populate that. And finally, I'm also going to um, put a header for this column here, Abundance, since we can optionally use that with the tools if we want. Now, um, the format of these spreadsheets, as far as I can see, is that if there's a monad reference, that's a one kilometer square, it's in this column here, then the hectad reference always seems to be in that column there. And then if it can be modified down to a tetrad, there's a modifier, the letter uh, in there. Now we need to create a single grid reference of the highest resolution in this um, column here. So to do that, I'm going to use a formula, which I've already prepared. Paste it into this first cell here. So this basically says that if there's a value in the monad um, column, then use that. Otherwise, if there's both a hectad with the tetrad modifier, then concatenate those and use that. Otherwise, just use the hectad. So that's all that um, little formula does. And I need to copy that all the way down. So I'm highlighting the top cell there, scrolling to the end, pressing Shift and clicking with my mouse there. Now I do is Control D and it will copy the, the formula all the way down. So you can see now, if I go to the top, where there's a monad reference that goes in, where there's a both hexad and tetrad modified via, via then they are concatenated and put in. Otherwise, in cases like this, where there's just hexad, then that goes in. So that's the best we can do for good reference. Okay, the last thing I need to do is save that as a comma separated value file, because that's what the tools that we use expect to find. So I'm going to change the file type here to CSV and save it. And we're ready to go. So close that. Now I've got QGIS open here. First thing I'm going to do is open a base map to give us some contextual information so we can see where we are. Now all the data you'll see me using in these demonstrations are free, either free or created by us. And so I'm going to use some OS data now and this is part of their open data suite and this is their free data and it's a very extensive range. If you can see the URL up here Ordnance Survey, Open Data Download, slash Products, HTML. If I scroll down there, you'll see there's an awful lot, both raster and vector data. And we're going to use uh, one of each, or uh, maybe a few more in this demonstration. So I've already downloaded some of that, and I'm going to open a sort of quite a coarse raster layer called Miniscale. This one's called Relief 2. There are different flavors of it, which gives us a sort of rough idea of where we are. Now I'm going to open the Tombio tool that lets me um, display the CSV file that we just created. So that opens over here. I go and find the CSV file. It's here. Now I have to tell it what columns the data are in, the relevant data. So where's the grid reference column? Well, it, it's smart enough sometimes to, to know the names of these things, so it's automatically selected that. But if it hadn't done, I would have had to find it in the drop-down list. Same for the species, the taxon column, and abundance column. I spelled abundance wrong, that's, that's why I didn't recognize it, but that's fine. Now if I go over to this taxa tab, then I have to load the taxa. Now this tool is designed to work with spreadsheets that have many different taxa in, and that's what this is for. Now you've only got one in each spreadsheet here, but if you had lots, you could just pick the, the, the species that you wanted to work with at any one time but I still have to speak, uh, pick it in this case. Now I'm ready to go. I can just click this button here and it will it will deals with all those different resolutions and it will uh, plot the points. So in the case of, well, all of these uh, 
monad, tetrad, and hectad, it puts these points in the middle of the, the relevant um, grid square that corresponds to that good reference. Okay, so we can also brigade those up as atlas maps. So those are the raw points. If I delete that, they're all temporary layers. I delete it and say, go make me a, a 10 kilometer atlas. It's basically combining these data uh, and and creating the uh, distribution map. The colors are random at the moment. We'll, we'll um, remedy that in another tutorial. Let's create uh, tetrads this time. Let's delete that layer, create the tetrads. You can see how quickly it is, quick it is to do this kind of data with the raw data. So we don't have to manipulate our spreadsheet in order to get the tetrads, monads, hectads, or whatever. This software does it on the fly uh, for us. Okay.